Hi YouTube, it's Marita Joyce and I'm back with another video. Okay, I'm so excited. I finally got over the hump and I'm working on trilogies and also this is a new genre for me so I'm extremely excited. So the books I want to talk to you guys about today are, and I'm going to try to do them in order, the first one is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson and there it is and you guys can see got this one for a dollar. Can you believe it? Yep, one dollar. That's the first book. The second book in this trilogy is um, The Girl Who Played with Fire by Steve Larson. Steve Larson. And this is the Millennium 2 and this is a Millennium Trilogy. The third part of that book is The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Isn't this a beautiful cover? You guys may have seen this in one of my book hauls when I first bought it. And it's very likely that I only paid probably total between three to five bucks for all three of these books by going to my library bookstore and supporting my library bookstore. So make sure you guys support your library bookstore because you can find really good books at great prices. Okay, so let's get down to business. This is a trilogy about a girl who is a world-class hacker. And this girl, this story, these stories, the three books are about abuse, violence, sex trafficking, all of those different things. And in this book, which is set in Sweden, and I kind of think it's funny, like in the third book, it talks about going back to Stockholm. And if any of you guys know about Stockholm Syndrome, that can be associated with trauma. So I just thought that was really interesting. And I have not read any of these books, but I'm very excited about reading them because it sounds like they're, they're going to be like psychological thrillers. I think they've been labeled as crime fiction. I don't think I've ever read a crime fiction book. So this is a new genre for me. I'm very excited. I'm really, really getting into this, exploring my reading and broadening my horizons with books. So I'm very, very interested. So the first book we talked about is A Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. And in this book, I got off the subject, but she's a world-class hacker, and she basically has grown up. She's had a troubled life. She's been sexually abused. She's been um, physically abused, and she is out for revenge. This girl is brilliant. She has not, she doesn't, she hasn't really developed her social skills. So she, on one hand, um, she is intellectually advanced, very advanced, very smart. And on the other hand, her social skills are inept. She's inept socially because she really can't get along with people. She doesn't really like people. So um, this, this book is going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. I am really into psychology. So this kind of really sounds like more like a psychological thriller to me, I guess, because there's so much crime in there. They call it crime fiction. But yeah, I'm very, very, very excited about reading these three books. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be exciting. Okay, so let me tell you about, I'll tell you about the, the second and the third book. The Girl Who Played With Fire. Okay, it says it's part blistering, it's a part blistering espionage thriller, part riveting police procedural, part piercing expose on social injustice. The Girl Who Played With Fire is a masterful, endless, satisfying novel. Mikhail Blankovist, crusading publisher of the magazine Millennium, hence the Millennium Trilogy, has decided to run a story that will expose an extensive sex trafficking operation. On the eve of its publication, two reporters responsible for the article are murdered. The fingerprints found on the murder weapon belong to his friend, the troubled genius hacker Lisbeth Salander, who is like the main character in the book. Blankovist convinced of Salander's innocent plunges into an investigation. Meanwhile, Salander herself is drawn into a murderous crime of cat and mouse, which forces her to face her dark past. That's excellent. Now, The Girl Who Kicked Over the Hornet's Nest, which is the third book here. That was kind of awkward, the way I picked that up. Okay, there we go. That third book. The one with the beautiful cover. Um, it says that Lisbeth Salander is under close supervision in the intensive care unit of a Swedish hospital. She's fighting for her life in more ways than one. When she's well enough, she'll stand trial for three murders. With the help of Mikhail Blankovist, she will have to prove her innocence and to identify those in authority who have allowed the vulnerable, like herself, to suffer abuse. 
and on her own she will plot the revenge against the man who tried to kill her and corrupt the government institutions that very nearly destroyed her life. So this is a vintage crime black lizard book and the most interesting thing about this trilogy is that the author of these books actually wrote these books and then it says he was born Stig Lawson born in 1954 was a journalist he actually wrote these books and in 2004 soon after delivering the manus manuscripts for three crime novels to his Swedish publisher he died unexpectedly so these books have become a huge sensation they've been made into movies there's actually a movie coming up out I think um here real soon um about the girl who kicked the harness nest, I think, is the one that will be a new movie. There's all already the girl who, um, with the dragon tattoo is a movie. And I tried to watch that the other night and fell asleep on it. So I love books who also that also have movies with them because it's really, really interesting. I like to read the book first and watch the movie or vice versa. Watch the movie first and then read the book. I don't tend to like to do them at the same time. So anyway, that's really interesting. I think these books are very interesting. I think it's really sad that he died before he was able to see the success of his books. I look forward to reading these books and having you guys comment and read these books along with me during this fall season. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Thank you.